venerable Audley Papania has cemented itself as a staple of bike touring equipment. When you think of a touring bicycle, chances are the image in your head might just include these ubiquitous, brightly colored German-made bags. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at a few tips and tricks to help you get the most out of yours. All right, welcome to another tips and tricks video. We've got plenty more of these on the way, along with other bikey videos like overnighters, gear reviews, tutorials. So if you're into that kind of thing, hit that subscribe button. To this date, I've put some 20,000 kilometers on my Ortley back rollers. And out of all the equipment I own, they're probably the piece that's given me the least grief. However, there are some things you can do to save yourself a couple of headaches and help you get the most out of them. The first thing you should do when you buy a new set of Ortley panniers is apply a thread locker such as Loctite to all the bolts. I've heard a lot of stories about a bolt from an Ortley pannier rattling loose and leaving an unfortunate bike tourer stood at the side of the road with their pannier only half attached. I've even been there myself, which you can see in this video. And the simple fix for this is just to make sure all the bolts have had a healthy dose of thread locker. Now if you still manage to lose a bolt, all is not lost. It's possible to pilfer a less necessary bolt, such as this one, and move it to where you need it, such as to the upper bolts, which are the most important ones, as well as the ones that tend to go missing the most often. And this is the fix that I used in the video that I just mentioned. Now it's still worth carrying spare bolts on any sort of long-term trip, but this should get you out of a pinch. So while you're taking all the bolts out to put your thread locker on them, it might be worth considering adding a second pair of lower hooks. The single hook at the bottom of your panniers does a pretty good job of holding them in place, but on really bumpy roads, it can get a bit overwhelmed. It's really simple to just buy and add a second hook, which will help keep them way more stable. Audlieb have even done this themselves on their gravel panniers. Audley panniers have a reputation for being quite noisy, as the plastic hardware rattles against the rack that they're mounted to. Now this isn't usually noticeable on smooth roads, but if you're hitting the gravel a lot, it could start to bug you. A simple low-tech fix is to just add a bit of tape. Examine the panniers while they're connected to your rack and find the points where they're contacting each other. Build up a few wraps of electrical tape and this will dull the rattling considerably. And if you really want to silence things, tape on a piece of inner tube. This last tip I think is fairly common knowledge, but I don't think people realize quite what a drastic difference it makes. And that is to position your panniers as far forward as you can get them without getting any heel strike. I can't emphasize what a difference this makes to the handling of the bike and even how easy it is to pick it up off the ground if you need to. The rear wheel and axle act like a sort of pivot and any weight that you place beyond that pivot is not only super detrimental to the way the bike rides but unexpectedly also makes the bike behave in a really awkward way when you're trying to pick it up off the ground. Now there's only so much you can do if you've got really big feet or really short chain stays, but it's definitely worth putting in the effort to try and get it as close as you can. All right guys, that's it for today. I really hope there was something useful in there that can help you guys out. And if you did, consider hitting that subscribe button, maybe even show it to a friend who might find it useful. All right, see ya.